care for mealworms. Mealworms are the early life stage of darkling beetles and are often used as food for pets such as reptiles, spiders, birds, and even rodents. Aside from that, they also act as an important part of the natural ecosystem, consuming decaying matter and keeping things clean. If you want to keep and maintain healthy mealworms, understanding their feeding habits and providing them with a safe and comfortable environment are important steps to take. Part 1. Housing Your Mealworms Keep the mealworms in a glass, metal, plastic, or wax coated container. Um, you can use stuff like a sour cream container or something like that. You want to be sure they can't get a grip on the sides of the container you keep them in, as they could likely climb out. Containers with smooth, slippery sides and surfaces are best for keeping the mealworms inside. Avoid containers made of things like cardboard or any containers lined in fabric. These surfaces will be easy for the worms to latch onto and climb up, which could allow them to get out. As long as the container is at least 8 centimeters deep and has slippery sides, you can probably get away without putting a lid on it but if you want a lid, just make sure you poke small air holes in the top. Try using a cheesecloth as an alternative, as this will also help other insects stay out of the container. Here's a picture of the bedding. Line the bottom of the container. The material you use to line the container with will also act as the mealworm's food, so you will likely have to add more to make up for what the worms eat. Things like oatmeal, grain cereal like Cheerios, cornmeal, or dog food that has been ground down to crumbs are good options for lining the bottom of the mealworm's container. You can try a mixture of these different items as well. Use a food processor to grind up larger pieces to make the substrate more consistent in texture and size. You can layer the lining to be about 4 centimeters deep in the container. Looks like a thermometer there. Keep the container in a warm place. Room temperature is adequate, but about 80 degrees Fahrenheit will be more ideal if you plan to breed and increase your number of mealworms. If you live someplace where the temperature and climate are on the more mild side, you could try keeping the mealworms out in a garage. Do not put your mealworm in the garage right now. It will be too cold and they will not grow. Just keep it in a warm place. Feeding mealworms properly. Got a picture of a potato, some mealworms, and an apple. One, use moist foods to provide the worms with water. Slices or pieces of fruits and vegetables, like potatoes and apples, work well for this purpose. Potatoes are an especially good option as they take a bit longer to mold and dry out. Don't put any water in the container. Mealworms will crawl into a water dish and end up drowning. Use the fruit and vegetables as a source source of moisture and water. Switch out dried or molded pieces of fruit and vegetables for fresh ones as needed. Change the food or bedding every few weeks. You'll need to add more food to the container as the worms consume it, but you don't need to actually change all of the bedding until a few weeks have passed. Keep an eye on it to make sure no mold is growing and that there is no foul odor. If there is, wash it out and dry it. You can use a sifter to gently separate the worms from the bedding when you need to change it, or even when you need to remove the worms for any other reason. Got a picture of some apples, potatoes, carrots. Use fruits and vegetables that are less likely to get soggy. If you notice the moist food you provided is making the bedding too wet or damp, change it out for something else or use a smaller piece. If your container has a lid and you notice the lid is collecting condensation, or it's getting wet, your container has a bit too much moisture. Try to let a little more air in or use less fruit or vegetables. Part 3. Caring for mealworms through the life stages. This is what the life stages look like for a mealworm. You have an egg, a mealworm, a pupa, looks like an alien, and a beetle. So if you're going to continue to raise them, you want to keep different life stages in separate containers. If not, don't worry about it. Um, but keep in mind that mealworms usually remain at the larval worm phase for about eight to ten weeks. Okay, 
Um, if you purchase the worms and they're already full grown, you may have less time than that. But here's what they might look like. Okay. Beetles and larvae eat the same thing, so keep refreshing and adding to the food bedding you have already been maintaining, even after the transition between stages. Once the larvae become pupa, they will not eat during this stage. So these are the life stages. Okay, it says keep the temperature of the container above 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperatures lower than this can have a negative impact on the reproduction cycle. If you're trying to product progress the life cycle and encourage full-grown beetles to lay eggs, they have to have a warm environment in which to do so. Okay. Um, questions and answers. Um, here's a question. I got my mealworms and I already have one beetle. It has a weird clear white sack-like thing attached to its back leg. Is this because it hasn't fully formed yet? And the answer is this is completely normal. Um, it might have had some difficulty coming out of the pupa stage. Leave it to fall off naturally as you may injure your beetle by intervening. If it doesn't fall off, then the beetle may try to bite off, but it's best to leave to nature. All right, so there are just a few more questions and answers there, but we're not going to go over those because now you have enough research.